sure that I've I've left in my head. <laughs> Because our um, secretary, Leanne, because our secretary Leanne has already left for America, she's uh, currently asleep in Dallas, I think. Uh, we are in the capable hands of John Tate. Yes. Anyway, he's a uh, uh, treasurer, secretary, uh, run coordinator. Uh, any other hats? General Donovan. All right, thank you very much. Uh, it's uh, se uh, eight, uh, sorry, 7.50. Um, any apologies? I know that um, John Fairman, who is flying out with me tomorrow, uh, has uh, apologised that he can't make it, as, as John Riley uh, can't make it tonight. Um, any, anybody else? No? Great. Um, the minutes of the last meeting were circulated um, last night? Twice. Twice? I said it was midday. Oh, did you? I looked for them. Well, I didn't get them. So I sent them again. Okay, so you've got no excuse. They've been sent out twice. <laughs> that's, uh, that's efficiency. Um, could I uh, ask if there is any... Oh, sorry. I should... Um, Propose that those meet, uh, those minutes be accepted. Yeah. I'll yeah. Thank you, Alex. Seconded. Seconded. Thank you very much. Okay. Any uh, any business from those minutes? Does anyone have anything that they're concerned about? Want to discuss? All good. Great. Um, okay. Uh, new members. Have we got any new members here tonight? I think we might have one over, over there. Um, would you like to uh, introduce yourself and tell us about your car? Everybody, I'm uh, Adrian from the Gold Coast. Um, just recently had a delivery of a indoor competition. It's on my first step in the <laughs> here to the DM to take outside. No. <laughs> It's, uh, it's lovely, and Adrian was uh, a recipient. Um, we have a, um, an interesting uh, scheme uh, run by uh, BMW Australia and Groups Australia, uh, offering new M car owners a uh, 12 months membership to the club of their choice, um, and, uh, and that's sort of working. So congratulations! A, a new car and free membership for the year. Um, yeah. <laughs> Adrian, you should talk to Peter Domro over the back. He's got a he's got an M2 competition. Peter Domro, Adrian, you yeah, guys. Yeah. Yes. Um, and uh, anyone else? Uh, yes. Sylvia. Yes. Tell us about yourself. A prospective member, so oh, yes. we have to uh, be be nice and uh, welcome you to the club. Okay. Just Thank usual. you. I'm. Um, I've bought myself a um, oh, <laughs> an E, um, no, E93, E92, oh, 335i um, convertible. Mm -hmm. I bought that a year ago, and um, I'm with Mercedes Benz car, but I'm not yeah. going to come over to the, <laughs> to the <a> few Mercedes. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> and, uh, German car treasure. Yeah, and I thought I'd uh, join the BMW club as well, you know, so okay. I could go on these lovely drives that you go on. Excellent. And, All right, well, uh, let's, uh, let's hope that we see you uh, uh, jump on board. That would be, uh, be fantastic, as we're saying. We've, we've, uh, we've attracted a few new uh, lady members uh, recently, and uh, that's, been, uh, that's been really nice. So, uh, yes, in fact, um, uh, Rebecca who um, won the um, best ladies car at the recent Motorfest. Couldn't be here tonight, so I must actually... Uh, She's uh, on a plane in Melbourne. Her apologies. She sadly missed the, um, uh, the gala dinner. She was, uh, she was in hospital. But um, she took out a couple of trophies. Uh, so, you know, the girls are out there doing. So we uh, hope to see you along. 
Uh, any other new members here? No? Excellent. Okay. Um, Dominic, again, thank you very much for your presentation. Um, social report, again, uh, Leanne's a jet setting. So, social report. The uh, annual celebrations and award night went off really well uh, and uh, had lots of good reports from it. Um, personally, I'd like to uh, extend a special thanks to um, Leanne Timms, uh, Crystal, who uh, did a fantastic job uh, getting everyone uh, up and having some fun. Did a, a lot of work in the background, uh, creating all those the cards and the games and things. <laughs> so thank you. It was uh, absolutely priceless. Um, Russell Thomas, your your dogged uh, chasing of sponsorship. The the prizes that we gave away the other night were second to none, and uh, that's a lot of your very good work. And uh, it's really much appreciated that uh, that someone. Um, who joins the club only recently is uh, jumped on board, so really appreciate that. Thank you, uh, Simon Harrix and Richard Gresham. Hope you're watching, guys. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, it was interesting to um, learn a bit more about members, long-term members, uh, and their history in motorsport. Um, uh, I think uh, it was it was pretty uh, pretty amazing. The rest of the committee. Thank you very much for all your work in the background. You know, there's so much goes on to organising those things, so thank you. Um, the judges, John Fairman, especially the um, uh, chairman of the judges for Motorfest, did uh, a great job. So thanks all, that was fantastic. Uh, and another social event was the um, display and membership drive opportunity at Brookwater Residential. Again, Russell Thomas uh, was driving that from the background uh, with the uh, Westside BMW. Also John Fairman pulled that together. We just got together and uh, sat around and um, uh, Westside BMW put on a display of cars, lots of local community members, and uh, absolutely fantastic. I think we've, we've picked up two members for sure, um, Gary and Monica Grill, who were there on the day, um, well Gary was, and uh, there was another gentleman that um, maybe joined. I can't recall his name, but he was um, he was having a chat on the day. Okay, um, John Fairman, uh, membership report. Sorry, John, it's okay. I'll do it. It's okay. Uh, last, uh, from memory, uh, from the e newsletter, I think we're standing at about three hundred and ninety-three members. Uh, I could be wrong, but then there's, and there was about um, 12 or 14 new members in the last month. So uh, that's really great. Uh, whilst I'm talking about membership, we've had some, uh, some generic business cards printed that I'd like you all to grab a handful and uh, just have in your car, in your wallet, to hand out. Uh, it basically is just gives the details of uh, the membership um, officer's uh, email address, our club website, uh, post office box, and on the back is a QR code. If one, everyone wants to read that, uh, it just takes you to the website. There's also check boxes there if you want to nominate a uh, committee member uh, to contact, uh, and there's space on there for you to write your name or telephone number or something like that. It's just the sort of thing, you know, you see someone in a nice car in a car park or something, uh, just uh, introduce yourself and uh, let them know about the club. Uh, it's, uh, sorry? Yeah, or, or stick it under the windscreen of the car. So it's... Um, really annoying. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, um, uh, that's all good. Um, drive report. John, can you take your secretary hat off for a moment and talk to us about uh, what we've got coming up? Yep, okay, so this weekend, Sunday's the Brecky Run, uh, starting at, uh, or meeting at 6.30 at Sanford, and at uh, Colmer Mates at the Birch's Restaurant at Mount Me. It's about an hour and a half drive, mostly around uh, Clear Mountain and Mount Me. Uh, at this stage, <coughs> Uh, I've got 44 people, well by that time I had 44 people, it closes tonight, and I've got 33 cars, uh, so that's quite good. Um, the um, run after that, the next run is um, 
in November, and that's the 10th of November, and that's the uh, Board of Rangers run, uh, which goes to UKI for lunch. <coughs> and more information on that will come out after this weekend. The, the registration will go live on that. That, uh, that hotel at, uh, at Mount Warning uh, is fantastic. Fantastic yeah, spot. Yeah. yeah, no, it's a great spot. They're really yeah, quite yeah, good. So. Yeah, they're, they're all good for us. So, so you'll be able to register from uh, Monday. Sensational. Thank you. <laughs> um, register report, John Fairman. I hope you're enjoying your well earned rest. Um, uh, I've approached uh, Piers Harricks to. Um, helps out with the E30 register. We're getting a lot of people on Facebook really asking to join them, uh, the E30 register Facebook group. So there seems to be a lot of interest out there. So I think it might be worth a bit of a push because of the nature of the E30s um, for someone, a younger guy who wants to get involved in the club, they're a great starting point. And um, I think it'd be fantastic to uh, you know, acknowledge those people and, uh, and give it a push. And I'm sure that Piers, when he has some time, he can you know, do uh, tech days and things like that and, uh, and get that sort of activity happening. So um, thank you. Um, sponsorship and advertising. Uh, we've got uh, nobody new uh, in the last month, but I did drop into um, Brisbane Motor Works this morning and had a chat to Lance over there. Um, he's sort of keen that um, they're discussing it to see what's going on. But again, if anyone knows anyone who might be interested in advertising our little magazine, that's great. Also, I'd like to promote, again, our supporters, um, uh, RX Automotive, who do both advertising in the magazine and our motorsport sponsor, um, and Summer Car Care uh, uh, advertisers. So if you get the opportunity, please, uh, you know, put back in and promote those guys. I see a lot of activity on Facebook and stuff where other organisations are promoted, uh, but don't forget our sponsors, okay? I don't mind you promoting the other people as well, but you know, give our guys a bit of a push as well. So thanks. I put down the link. Yeah. <laughs> yes. JT, back to you. Ah, Treasurer's report, yes. Uh, so right off the back of a Operating surplus of $6,384 in August, we had a operating loss of $2,869.91 for uh, September. However, we had a lot of expenses there. There was a lot of things like track hire and the hire of the venue for the awards night and all that that came up in September. Uh, the uh, cash balance uh, at the moment is including face, uh, pay, sorry, uh, PayPal, is $47,423, which is uh, $7,500 ahead of where we were at the beginning of the year. However, given the expenses and all that that are coming up uh, for the rest of the year, at the end of our financial year, which is uh, the 31st of December, I guesstimate at this stage that we will have around about a $2,500 surplus of from last year, okay, so we'll put it $2,500 uh, $2, ahead of where we were at the end of last year. Uh, it doesn't sound like a lot, but there were some big expenses this year, uh, such as the, uh, the cost of the uh, uh, card machine for the, for the membership cards, which needed replacing. Uh, that was around the $5,000 mark, and there was $2,500 uh, or $2,300 that went on the uh, awards night. So, some big expenses there. In the last year, I think we made a $10,000 profit. But, of course, we are doing other things this year too, like we're running the uh, Bimmer magazine now and things like that. So, anyway, uh, has anyone got any questions? Nice. I move the. Uh, oh, I don't need to move that. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Thank you. Uh, editor's report, uh, new, another newsletter has just uh, uh, hit the, uh, uh, the internet, getting a lot of good response from that. In fact, uh, uh, personally, I, I love it when people come back and pay compliments like they, they love the external photos and the videos and little things like that that 
that just make it a little bit more interactive and give you a, a, a sense of uh, what happened. Now, there's, there's events that we don't go to, that, sorry, that I don't get to, but it's been fantastic how people have been giving me their photos and writing little articles as well. So, you know, it's, the club is all about the members, so if you guys want to put back and, uh, and write something or do something, that is absolutely fantastic and it works really well. We can never have too many photos because I just create a little Google photo album and just throw everyone's photos on there. So it's a great way of being able to share and see what other people have seen and look. And I must admit, there's some fantastic photographers amongst you guys. There's some, some, some great stuff. Leanne took the most amazing photograph of the paella, paella dish at um, uh, Brookwater the other day. Oh. This makes me hungry thinking about it. It's the size of this table, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was huge. It was, it was really great. Um, and speaking of uh, next month's magazine, uh, because I leave for the States tomorrow for five weeks, I'm going to be producing the next month's magazine on the road. So you're going to, not only are you going to be shattered with, um, hit with my Facebook posts, but uh, also the magazine's going to be <laughs> all about the trip. So anyway, but it, it, uh, it, it should be interesting. Uh, thank you. Dennis, notice board, speak, speak to us with your mouth. Um, do you, we'll get that, you can do that afterwards. Yeah. Pete, afterwards. Sorry? You can get, do you want to present that to Pete, who wasn't at, oh. first, uh, at, at the gala night? Yeah. Thank you. And, um, uh, Pete Dollar. Yes, Peter, come up and, come up and win. <laughs> 2019, Pete Delmoreau, F87, M2, competition. Well done. <laughs> you do, yeah. you do. And in fact, uh, you get that one. Up. You can keep that one. That one is a keeper. Oh, thank you. So. <laughs> you win it, then. Yeah. You win it. Yeah, you won the category. The, two, oh, the, 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 the new category, the new car category. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, son. Oh, well done. It's glad to see you, you're keeping up the tradition of, uh, of winning your class. Actually, I was, I was glad he bought another car because I always come second to him in the, in the, in the 2000s class. So he's gone from that class now. We can see the four's gone and I managed to win it. So thanks, Pete. <laughs> okay. Um, Motorsport, uh, hopefully you haven't been living in a vacuum and you know that the, uh, tomorrow we've got the CAMS challenge on at Mount Cotton. Um, unfortunately, I found out this morning that we've had a late minute, last minute withdrawal. Steve Crawford is unfortunately stranded in, in Meriburra. Um, he got asked if, by some people if he wanted to come along while they delivered a trawler, boat type trawler, um, from Brisbane to Gladstone, and they only made it as far as Meriburra and the engine died. Um, so they're stuck in, in Meriburra, and it so happens Steve is a diesel mechanic, so I'm sure there was a reason why they asked him to come. Uh, so he's stuck in Meriburra and won't be back in time. Luckily we've had four people entry in the other team. We've got two teams, uh, we're allowed three for minimum per team and up to five. So one team had four in it, the other team had three. So I've just organised, we've shuffled one across to the RX team. Uh, so we've now got two teams of three for tomorrow. Uh, there's no entry charge. Um, if you haven't been out to Mount Cotton before, uh, to the hill climb, it's not where we do the driver training, it's, it's next door in Crenzo Road, a different facility, but if you haven't been out there before, I'd encourage you to come out and have a look at it, that's one of the best hill climb facilities in the country. Um, MG Club owns the facility, it's their own facility, which is probably incredible of any car club, in just about anywhere. But the way the track lays out, they actually go over parts of it a couple of times. From the viewing area where the, right in front of the kiosk and everything, you can see the entire yeah, track. track. Uh, you don't, you can, if you want, you can go up around the, the bush to the other, bit, other side and look at it from the other way. But you can just sit there on the bench uh, with a snack bar behind you and watch everything. The start line is there, the finish line is there. Um, they go up and around and back and around again. So come out and support our guys. Um, last year we came second, we won $1,500, hopefully we might do that again this year. They've changed the rules a bit this time, instead of previously you were driving against the lap record for whatever class that you were in, they've done away with that this time and made it easier for general people who aren't very familiar out there. I mean, Piers Harris owns that track, he's got the lap record for every class he's ever driven in, he owns the lap record. 
Um, they've made it more like a regularity type event where you'll be driving, um, they'll be taking your most consistent times and the gap in those most, most consistent times will be um, where you score. So um, it, it makes it easier for people who aren't very familiar with the turf. But come on out, um, I'd love to see some people out there. Crystal is going to come out and cheer. What, what time is this? Um, I think gates open at about 7.30, but it'll be going all day, so there is no, no entry charge. Um, just come along, bring your BMW shirt, and bring a chair. There are benches there, bring a hat. No, there is a, there is a small dirt road that you can for a couple of hundred kilometres, oh, a couple of hundred metres at the most. Uh, that you've Almost got to drive rally stage. Um, <laughs> but that's all. <laughs> yeah, it's not quite a rally stage. Um, so yeah, there is a, a little bit of a dirt road there, but it's just an entry. Uh, the next follow-up from that... Now who's competing? Pierce? Oh, yeah, OK. There are two teams now is the RX Racers, um, and that's Pierce and Simon Harrix. They're both co-driving with the car. Um, and when I said to Simon that he didn't have to go throw it out, he said, OK, good on him. And now Alan Moore... Um, he's bringing his 2002, that, that beautiful yellow 2002, um, he, and that sounds fantastic out there. Richard Wesson? Uh, no, Richard's not coming, he's, he's doing other things, he's busy. Um, that's the team, the, the RX Racers team, as I called it, and the other team is Chris Price, Charlie Tutt, um, and um, I forgot his first name, Mastola. Um, I can't think of his name, Bruce, I think it is. Paul, Bruce or Paul Mastola. Uh, and so t is Chris has got a um, 140, um, Charlie's got a, a E82135 and um, the other one's an E36 E3 uh, and RX is using their, their, uh, the blue race car, luckily it survived last week. Uh, following on from that, the following weekend um, out at Queensland Raceway is a chance for everybody to come and have a drive. It's our own regularity session. Um, at Queensland Raceway, we've got a block booking out of the reg regular street sprint um, for up to 20 people. It's a regularity, so it's an ideal event for novices. Um, for those that don't know, a regularity is where you're not trying to drive flat out. You go out there, you'll do a practice session first of four laps. Um, from that, decide what speed or what time, lap time you want to do for the rest of the afternoon nominate that time and try and drive as close as you can to that time for the rest of the afternoon. Mm. And for every yeah. tenth of a second that you're away from that time, you get points. Mm. At the end of the afternoon, the person that's got the lowest score, um, mm. meaning they're the closest to their nominated time, will be the winner and I've got a little trophy for you. Uh, it's $110 for the afternoon for club members. Uh, so we've, because we've made some profit from motorsport from the last couple of events with good attendance, we're subsidising that back again. Um, it's open now to non-members as well. We've still got about eight more spaces there that we can fill. Um, so we can take up to 20. Um, so come on out, um, even if you don't want to drive it, come out and just see how things happen there if you are, if you want. Um, but if you're interested, come and talk to me. Um, I'll tell you about it. As I said, you don't need to be going flat out. That's a great little thing for novices. Is anybody else on the track the same? I know the club has their own grid slot. Yeah. Is there other people competing on the same day? Yeah, it's an it's a it's a um entry street down. Yeah. So oh, interclub round. Sorry? Interclub round. No, 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 it's a, just the entry street sprint. So the Queen Queensland Raceway. Just think about pit sprint. Lanes, that's all. Um I don't think there's a problem with pit lanes. Um pit pit lanes. Pit lanes. Oh, pit bays, sorry, I thought you said pit players. Pit bays, <laughs> there will be um, a fair, you know, there will be a lot of people there. Um, I don't know how many there'll be because there is that other motor race on somewhere down south as well at the same day. Um, it's backwards. Uh, but as I've said, you can sit at home for, for six hours and watch TV and watch, watch, you know, cars going round and round and round and four, four and a half hours and it'll be boring and there'll be an hour and a half of interesting stuff. Um, or you can come out and drive QR and go home and watch the highlights, uh, which I would suggest is a better, far better fun day than, than spending six hours of using the TV. Um, but, so, I spoke to Neil Lewis a couple of weeks ago, and for those that don't know, Neil Lewis 
is now the general manager of, of um, Queensland Raceway. Uh, Keith, who was his father, has left the operation uh, and is doing other things. Um, and I quizzed him and I said, why did you put it on, on Bathurst Day? He said, we do it deliberately. He said, because there's a stack of people out there that don't really care less about watching Bathurst anymore. Mm. So that's why we're there. Okay. Um, that's it. Now the other one will be our, our final round on the 22nd of November back at Lakeside. That'll be the final round for, it's actually the final round for the year, but it's the first round of the next year's series. That, you'll hear about that soon. No, that's a normal sprint with Lakeside. Dennis? Dennis? That'll be subsidised too. Yeah, that one will be subsidised too. We're just working out how. We, we are actively trying to put some money back into a lot of activities to, to make it uh, more um, efficient uh, and easier for people to get involved. You know, the, uh, the hill climb tomorrow, we subsidised the, um, uh, the gala dinner. We want to make the events as good as we can. Uh, the, the, the big movie night uh, this afternoon that we've got coming up, Club uh, Queensland is hiring the whole cinema. Um, the Christmas, um, uh, Christmas party, uh, we're putting money into to doing that so everyone can take advantage of it. So what we're trying to do is, is to, to make it more economical for everyone and get everyone along so you're not always putting your hand in your pocket for these things. And so we can just get together and enjoy ourselves. So. Actually, there's, there's one thing I will add. Um, it's sort of made sport related. Oh, the reason why I pulled it up was because it's made sport relation. Um, you might have heard that we're doing some fundraising, or we're going to, we've, I think we've agreed that we will make a donation of some sort um, to um, not so much the general drought appeal, but to specifically to water supply in the Warwick area. And we all know how desperate they are. And because we use the Morgan Park circuit up there at Warwick was why I thought, well, let's do something for those people. They do, you know, they, they provide the facility for us. So let's do something for them. So we will be doing some ongoing um, collections on that movie day. Um, I'll probably, I was hoping to get a collection tin that we can just take to events from now on. Mm. Um, so We're going to make that movie. Going to make that movie day a, a gold yeah, yeah, so coin donation day, for everyone. So a donation day for that. And it's not just costing any money for the movie. From the, for the next few weeks or a couple of months, we we'll probably have a collection tin there. And, and can I, can I talk to you about that? I'll, I'll talk about that because yeah. we've already allocated some money. Yeah. Yeah. So we've allocated some funds, but obviously so the more we can get, the better. Mm. Okay. Um, is there anything for Interclub, Dennis? Uh, tomorrow's Hill Climb Challenge, Cam's Hill Climb Challenge, right. is actually also a round of the Interclub. Okay. Uh, I think there's only one other round right. after that for the year. Okay. Uh, Alex, anything on the books for you? No, nothing at the moment. Um, but uh, I'd just like to take a moment to thank Alex. As you know, again, I'm going to America. And um, because there's a group of us from Australia going, uh, Clubs America have asked us to be the judges for their concourse. So um, there's uh, going to be eight of us from Australia going. And I had Alex uh, make up some Aussie shirts for us, for the eight of us to wear when we're over there. So it says uh, Clubs America 50 years and Clubs Australia kangaroo and g'day mate. So um, uh, it's a bit of fun with uh, the uh, Australia flag and the South Carolina flag on the sleeves. Uh, they're really great. So thank you very much, Alex, for, for getting those done for us. Um, Sue's not very happy because we've, we've had to take a, a separate suitcase with all the shirts to, to, to take to America. So, oops. It's just shirts and hats, is it? Yeah, well, I've, I've, I've got the big hat as well, so, you know, it's... Uh, it's all, um, it's all happening. Oh, sorry guys for those. I had the camera pointing in the right, wrong direction. Uh, our shirts. Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, correspondence, uh, Telstra invoice, which is another story. We've been trying for quite some time. The club has had a phone number, a fixed line phone number for some time, which costs a lot of money and who use the phone, uh, a fixed line phone anymore. Anyway, so after months and months and months, two days ago I was able to shut it down. 
after lots and lots of paperwork. So the, um, that will be our last Telstra invoice. And in fact, we were told not to pay it and they'll issue us a credit. So, yes. So, uh, so that's all great. Uh, as I said, business cards. Everyone make sure you leave with a, a, a pocket full of these uh, and spread the word around. Um, and uh, mm -hmm. if there's nothing else, oh, actually, uh, John was going to just add to the um, the drive event. Yeah, other um, people might have been wondering too what we're doing, charging uh, non-members twenty bucks a time or twenty bucks a car to come to events. Well, one is uh, we're not here to provide events for everybody in Australia, and people have been making a welter of it. Now all of a sudden they aren't. However. <coughs> That money is refundable if they join the club within a month or two months, depending on what we feel like at the time. In fact, it's, it's uh, refundable with interest because if they decide to join, uh, we will waive the uh, joining fee. So they actually get 25 bucks off for the 20 bucks. If they don't, we get the 20 bucks. Um, the, uh, the other thing we're doing <coughs> with, uh, if we get a group of nine members and we've got four registered so far for Sunday is run a uh, raffle just for that, those non-members for 12 months membership. So uh, it really doesn't cost us anything. Um, so it's a good opportunity. Yeah, someone, but it's a good opportunity for new members to come along. And uh, 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 last a year or they <laughs> might decide to continue, but uh, at least they get something out of it as well. So they get uh, 12 months membership for 20 bucks basically. Right. So, but that's Excellent. what it's all about. So if anyone asks you, so what's it all about? That's what it's all about. Okay. Uh, has anyone got any other general business they'd like to discuss? Yeah, um, just with regard to the movie night, there's also a uh, documentary on uh, Sir Jack Bradley. Yes, someone that's else was talking about that tonight. Shown as Wednesday night. Right. Uh, we might just uh, put some information up on the Facebook page, on the Facebook group, just to just, to just promote it or something. What do you think, John? It's, if it, the Brisbane yeah, Festival yeah. is always good to yeah. get tickets in. I've had trouble with it. Yeah. 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 Uh, Dennis, do you, uh, are you, sorry, are you interested in that event, that, that film? Well, yeah. all I was going to suggest is because I'm going to be away. Would you mind finding out something well, about it and just and just spread it across Facebook? Yeah. Just uh, just so that yeah. people are aware of it, if you don't mind. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thank yeah. you. We have a small acting committee. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry. It's uh, it's one of those sort of make it up as we go along. You know, when the music stops, grab a job. Um, but that uh, that. The movie night, uh, afternoon that we're running, just to go a little bit deeper into that, which I didn't go earlier. So, it's the Ford versus Ferrari movie. Uh, it premieres uh, just a couple of days prior to our Sunday afternoon. Uh, again, thank you very much, Russell Thomas, for organising event cin cinema at Browns Plains. Um, and what we're doing is that uh, Club Queensland is renting the whole facility and we're inviting all the club members, but we're also extending invitations to the various dealers, Westside, um, Motorline, uh, and we did invite Brisbane BMW, but they said that it's because it's outside their, their prime marketing area, uh, they, uh, they, they won't um, be involved. But um, uh, we may have a Ferrari and or a uh, Ford GT40 in the foyer. Um, I'm just uh, trying to organise that at the moment. 
but we're also, again, going to use that as a gold coin donation day for um, uh, the uh, charity that uh, Dennis is, is talking about. And it's just another fun opportunity to raise the profile for the club, a bit of a membership drive, um, meet and greet some of the dealers, some of their staff, because I've invited the, the staff, we've invited the staff along as well, because, you know, they go out of their way to help us. So, you know, opportunity to uh, just have an afternoon, sit around and um, uh, have a, see the movie. Should we invite the Gold Coast Club to join us? Oh, sorry, yeah, the Gold Coast Club has been invited. Yep, yep that's all That's all happening. They've we already one, promoted it. We've got one. Yep, yep. But, uh, okay, unless anyone's uh, got anything else. Uh, next meeting will be Friday the 8th of November at Brisbane BMW. And I think uh, uh, Leanne Timms, Vice President, will be back from America. Uh, I get back that morning, but I doubt whether I'll be awake. So, Leanne Tim's going to drive that. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you again, Dominic. Really great. Really yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. You have a safe trip. Yeah, and Dominic, let us uh, stay in touch. Let us know when you're doing your events so that we can put it out there. Make people aware of it, so we, you know, there might be an opportunity for people to come along and you know wave a flag or you know, uh, on, or, or do something when it doesn't clash. When it doesn't clash. When it doesn't clash with galvanites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, I'm usually there. Same day as yeah. Right. Oh yes. Yes, in fact... Simon Pierce, myself, um, a few of the other guys. Richard, yeah. Sorry, um, forgive me, it was remiss of me. You had a fantastic uh, time out at Lakeside just recently. There's some uh, absolutely amazing photographs uh, that, um, that have been online. For those of you who don't know, um, myself personally, I grew up in 416 yeah. Yeah. Um, and a little 3.2 litre blew it away. Mm. Yeah, but uh, again, just like, like Dominic, you know, we, we love to, because we don't know about these things and you guys do it, just uh, keep talking to us and let us know so that we can promote it. And Myself, personally, the thing I've been talking about Queensland, I've got great friends here, but my existence within the club only involves with motorsport. Of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, at at sixty kilometres an hour, when you, when you can't drive a, a BMW when it's the way it's supposed to be driven. So, yeah, but thank in, you. To put it in perspective, last weekend I managed a couple of three-person best. We got down to sixty point three seconds in the uh, turnaround race. So. Yep, that's a four-cylinder car. It's a four-cylinder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, thank you. Don't forget to take some cards. Closed. Meeting is closed. Thank you. Did you want to go down to the money or not? Uh, personally, no, I don't. Uh, so there's there's normally a uh, uh, a group of people go down to the money to the to have something to eat. So if anyone would like to, oh. say if anybody wants to go, then I'll make a. Um, 
You'll need to be down there. He's a real straight away. Right. Um, but do you want me to phone, right. phone up the okay. Facebook? Is anyone going? No one going? This is just great. No one's yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a mini mini adapter, so that's, that's what we need. No, I've got to go over the stuff. Oh, jeez, I've just missed it. I've got, I've got, I'm going down there to see you. So, when you load that, it'll have a number of different folders in it, uh, and it's like numbered 1 to 5 or 1 to 8 or something, it'll just go into the first folder. So just go into the first folder, have a look there, and then there's probably another three folders and it says 4 channel stereo or something, it'll, it'll be the only one there in the stereo. Yeah, well, you know, even the, it's pretty well. Yeah, exactly. You, know, you don't. It's not that. There's not that much to, to do. So. Okay. No, you don't. And if you. Wonderful time. No doubt we will have. We will have a fantastic time. I think. There's no reason that we shouldn't. And, and if I can manage to win one of those nine BMWs, that would be just the best. <laughs> You'll hear me screaming from here. I'll, I'll just leave a few of those in there in case you ever need to refer anyone to me directly. <laughs> So far, the only people who are identified to this Yeah. Yeah. So I got a. I got a. There was a response virtually straight away from Motorline. They said, yeah. They said that they'll pass it around. Um, I haven't heard anything back from these guys, but they were keen to start off with. But as I said, I'd also... Um, 